It's time for person, place, or thing. Our first player is Alyssa, and her favorite person is Aphrodite. Our second player is Daryl, and his favorite place is Mexico City. And our third player is Lene, and her favorite thing is Arboretums. <laughs> and now, because Hugh Jackman would only do it if we let him sing every episode, our host, Melissa Peterman. Yeah. And he wouldn't do it with his shirt off. <gasps> Welcome to Person, Place, or Thing, the game where paying attention really pays off. And joining me today are three phenomenal contestants who are here to battle it out for their shot to win our grand prize of $5,000. Yes, and back again, it's our new champion, Alyssa, who's already won a hotel stay in Costa Mujeres, Mexico, and is looking to make it back to that final round and win that $5,000. But Daryl and Lanai are here today, and I think they want to start a winning streak of their own. Absolutely. Okay, well, let's start playing right now. In our first <laughs> round, we are going to play each category, our person, our place, and our thing. You can ask me yes or no questions, and I will be giving you clues. Hello, Alyssa. Hi. Welcome back. Thank you. How does it feel? Day two, champ. It feels good. I feel powerful. Do you? Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to kick off our first round with our thing category. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to let all of you know that this thing is food. Mm. Is this food savory? Yeah, I'd say it's it's savory. Daryl. Um, is it is this thing a meat? Yes, this thing contains meat. I've also heard that question on a lot of my first dates. When I <laughs> open the door, they just look at me and go, is it meat? Um, <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm doing How are you, great. Lene? How are you? Uh, Arboretum, favorite thing? It is my favorite thing. Um, favorite kind of plant? Like, do you have a favorite plant or a favorite? Oh, f any plant that makes fruit is great. Yes. Yeah. Well, we're talking food, since yes. you seem to love plants with food. We know that this food contains meat. Yes. Mm -hmm. Does this food contain bread? Yes. Mm -hmm. Time for a clue, get your buzzers out. Remember, if you buzz in and you're right, you got 100 points, but if you're wrong, you're out until I give another clue. Its ingredients are detailed in the lyrics of a 1970s ad jingle. Okay, Alyssa. Is it rice -a No. <laughs> But now I want to hear that jingle. Because <laughs> it was a San Francisco tree. Yeah, I love that one. Daryl. <laughs> it's not rice -a Okay, shot in the dark. Okay. Is it meatloaf? No, but I want you to sing that jingle. <laughs> I mean, I can imagine it. You sing about the ketchup. I just the... want to hear the meatloaf jingle. Meatloaf, it's like bread, but it's meat. You put ketchup, and meatloaf is singing it. Uh, oh. Just gets in your head, and you just can't get away. Just love it. Okay. All right. Lene. Can I make a guess? Yes, you can make a guess. Is it a corn dog? It is not a corn dog. Okay, it's time for another clue. According to a PR firm for McDonald's, this burger is their second best selling item of all time after their french fries. Alyssa. Is it a Big Mac? Big Mac it is! 100 points to you, Alyssa. Well done, well Thank done. You. Daryl, you're gonna kick off this next category. And even though that, I wish I could give you points for that meatloaf thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, we're gonna play our person category and I'm gonna let you all know that this person is a musician. Does this, per is this person part of a band? I'm gonna say no, he has been, but not currently. Okay. Okay, is this musician in the rock genre? I would say no not categorized maybe as rock genre. Alyssa. Is this person alive? Yes, alive. Ready for a clue? Yes. This American folk singer is known for his storytelling and activism. Alyssa. Woody Guthrie? No, great guess though, okay? But that means you're out until I give another clue. She's very excited, Daryl. Uh, I don't know. Do you have a guess? Um, is this musician Bob Dylan? Oh, yes! yes! Bob Dylan! Oh. Yeah, 
Yes, you got 100 <laughs> points. Well done, well done, well done. Okay, would you hear, love to hear Bob Dylan do that meatloaf jingle? Oh, 100%. <laughs> I mean, his iconic voice just doing that meatloaf jingle. Let's send him an email. Mm. <laughs> Chef's kiss. Okay, you're going to kick off this last category, okay. Benai. And this is our place category, and I can let you all know that this place is a business. It's a business. Okay. Does this business primarily sell food? No, not primarily selling food. Mm -hmm. Alyssa. Does this business sell furniture? No. Mm -mm. Terrell. Is this business a nationwide chain? Yes, it is. Time for a clue. With over 9,000 locations, it's the largest pharmacy chain in the U.S. Alyssa. Is it CVS? Boom! It is a CVS. Great round, everybody. Alyssa is in the lead with 200 points. Daryl right behind at 100 points. And Lene is on the board yet, but that could change because up next, more great questions, even greater clues when we come back on Person, Place, or Thing. If you want to learn more about our show and meet today's super fan, use your smartphone to scan the QR code in the corner of your screen, and you will not only meet today's super fan, Amy, but you're also going to get behind the scenes fun and bonus content. Welcome back to Person, Place, or Thing. Still threatening to do the show shirtless, it's <laughs> Melissa Peterman. I'll do it too! <laughs> Welcome back. Alyssa is in the lead with 200 points. Daryl has 100 points. And Lene is not on the board yet, but that could change. It's time for round two. We play round two the same as our first round, except we're going to double the points, and you get to pick the categories that we are going to play. Lene, since you are behind a tiny bit, <laughs> you are going to get to choose the category first. What do you want to play? Person, place, or thing? Thing, please. Thing. Okay. Well, I can tell you... This thing, it's a body part. A body oh. part. Is this body part above the waist? <laughs> <laughs> Is it above the waist? Yes, it's above the waist. Alyssa. Is this body part on the face? Yes, it's on the face. Terrell. Or does this body part, does everyone have a pair of them? No. Time for a clue. Buzzer's out. Remember, this time it's worth 200 points. This body part is one of the organs of the respiratory system. Alyssa. Nose. Yes. Yes. And I love the way <laughs> you just say that. Nose. <laughs> 200 points, you just took the lead. Alyssa, what do you want to play? Person, place, or thing? I would love to play thing. Thing. This thing is an animal. Wonderful. Animal. Is this animal a common pet? No, I would say it's not a common pet. Okay. Daryl. Is this animal native to North America? No, <laughs> it is not native to North America. Is this animal a mammal? No, not a mammal. Time for a clue. Buzzers out. These sea creatures live in a symbiotic relationship with anemones. <laughs> Alyssa. Is it a clownfish? Yes! Uh. <laughs> okay, how did you know that? I loved Finding Nemo growing up. Yes, and so you just got into a clownfish, like, deep spiral of knowledge? I just remember <laughs> Nemo being in in his home. Which in his was home. An an anemone. Yes, and that's anemone. where you live. It's anemones, <laughs> right? Anemones. 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 Anemones, anemones, whatever. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> okay, we got it. Well done. 200 Thank points you. to you. 600 in total. You are in the lead. Last but not least, Daryl, you get to pick the category that you would like to play. Yes, let's do it. Uh, let's do a place, please. A place. Okay. This place is a country. Is this country in the Eastern Hemisphere? No, it is not. Hmm. The name. <clears throat> is this country in the Southern Hemisphere? No, it's not. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chewing that for a bit, huh? <laughs> Alyssa. 
is this country known for having very good food? I, I am gonna say no. I'm probably gonna get a letter or two, okay. but um, from some of the people in the country. <laughs> but I, I'm just going on my own. I think I'm gonna say no, okay? Mm -hmm. Time for a clue. <clears throat> its national colors are red for volcanic fires, white for snow, and blue for the ocean. Alyssa. England? No, it is not England. That means you are out until I give another clue. Daryl. Okay, I'm gonna guess Haiti. You are wrong, it is not Haiti. I'm gonna Lene. guess. Okay. Can I guess Iceland? You can guess oh. Iceland because it's the right answer. Yeah, I did not know that. I did not know that by the flag. Well, the food's delicious. I've been. But it's, it's, not, okay. it's not known, the national foods, it's like fermented shark fin or something. That's like what that. I thought, because yeah, yeah. that's what was hate in my head, Correct. that it was the fermented shark fin, but yes. you've been there and the food is there. lovely. The food okay, is lovely. I apologize. I just, I need to go to Iceland and try the food. We've got ourselves a great game here. Well done, everybody. Alyssa is in the lead with 600 points. Lene right behind her at 200. Daryl has got 100, but coming up next, we're gonna speed things up and see who's gonna walk away a winner on person, place, or thing. Iceland, invite me. Welcome back to Person, Place, or Thing, where after this, we're all going out for Haukart. <laughs> Yum! We had a great game here. Alyssa in the lead with 600 points. lene has got 200 points and Daryl 100. But up next, it is time for the speed round. Get your buzzers ready, contestants. This round goes very fast, it's very fun, and there's a lot of points up for grabs. I'm gonna read a series of clues about a person a place, or a thing. If you think you know it, buzz in, and if you're right, you got 500 points. If you're wrong, you're out, but just until the next category. It is still anyone's game. Buckle up, get ready. Jamie, put 90 seconds on the clock, please. You know, I still can't get that meatloaf jingle out of my head. I know, it just, right there. Meatloaf, za, za, za. meatloaf, okay. Good luck, everybody. Time starts now. This is a classic board game. Daryl. Monopoly. No, mm -hmm. it is played with colorful pieces and a deck of cards. Uh, Alyssa. Sorry, yes. This person is a former pro tennis player. She was born in Germany in 1969. She won 22 Grand Slam titles during her 16 year career. She's been married to fellow tennis legend Andre Agassi since 2001. Anyone? Steffi Graf. This place gets its name from the lack of marine life. It is mentioned in the Bible. It is located in the, Daryl. The Dead Sea. Yes, this thing takes its name from an album by R&B musician, Dr. John. It's an annual event held every June on a 700 acre farm in Tennessee. This music and arts festival was, was first held in 2002. The festival grounds are divided into areas called Center Roo and Outer Roo. Daryl. Bonnaroo. Yes, this actor was born in Chile in 1975. Uh, Daryl. Pedro Pascal. Yes, this place was proclaimed a national monument by Teddy Roosevelt in 1908. Eight. According to the National Park Service, redwood trees began growing here 20 million, Alyssa. The redwood forest. No, this forest northwest of San Francisco was named for a Scottish conservationist. Uh, Sequoias. No, it's, it's a primary setting of 2011's Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Anyone? No, Daryl. Uh, the Muir Woods. This thing is an item often used at a beach or a picnic. Uh, Alyssa. A blanket. No, it is insulated to keep food and drink refrigerated. Daryl. Cooler. Time's up. Okay, we'll take that. It was yes. well done. Okay. Ooh. That was a phenomenal run. I couldn't even look up. I didn't, couldn't tell what the scores were because you all were so in it. But guess what? Daryl, you are moving on to play our final round. Alyssa, what a joy it was to have you here. I hope you enjoy your stay. And Lene, loved having you as well. We're not going to send you home empty handed. <laughs> so, Jamie, tell them what they've won. Chicago Steak Company, delivering the ultimate steak experience with the highest quality melt in your mouth steaks shipped right to your door. Visit chicagosteakcompany.com. Those are real good. I hope you enjoy them. And congrats, Daryl. You are moving on to play for $5,000 in our final round, sponsored by Slotomania. Jamie, tell them about it. Promotional consideration provided by Slotomania, the number one free slots game. Download Slotomania now and get one million free coins. Stick around to see if Daryl's gonna win that $5,000. We'll be back right after this. Meat love, it's got meat and bread and ketchup and stuff. 
Now it's your turn to play. Scan the QR code to win this amazing prize. The Grand Palladium Costa Mujeres Resort and Spa, a registry collection hotel worth sprawling pools and world-class dining. WyndhamRewards.com, the world's number one hotel rewards program. Good luck. Welcome back to the final round of person, place, or thing. I am standing here with Daryl, who's about to play for $5,000 from our friends at Slotomania. Jamie, tell them about it. Slotomania, the number one free-to-play slots game in the world with millions of players and non-stop fun and excitement. Scan the QR code to download Slotomania now and find out what will today spin. Thank you, Jamie. Okay, Daryl, here we are, final round. How you feeling? I'm, I'm feeling good. I, I feel like I have momentum. I have momentum. You've got momentum. Yes. Well, I don't want to slow down that momentum. Let's keep going then. Okay. What you got to do is you've got to get a person, a place, and a thing in 60 seconds. You can start with any category that you want. You can ask me as many yes or no questions as you'd like to and guess as many times as you need. And Daryl, it's not just because I love that meatloaf jingle. I'm your buddy. I got three clues for you, okay? So use them, use them wisely, but use them. You correctly identify your person, your place, and your thing. In 60 seconds, you got five grand, and we're gonna give our super fan, Amy, $500. You ready? Let's do it. Your person is an entertainer. Your place is a tourist attraction. And your thing is an animal. Let's start with tourist attract, place. Place, you wanna start with the place category, mm -hmm. which is a tourist attraction. Jamie, put 60 seconds on the clock. It's like bread, bun, it's meat. <laughs> you can put ketchup on it. Bob Dylan. <laughs> yeah, Bob Dylan, classic. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good luck to you, Daryl. Time starts now. Is it in the US? Yes. Is it west of the Mississippi? Yes. Is it on the West Coast? Yes. Uh, in California? Yes. Um, Golden Gate Bridge? No. Can I get a clue? It's been a Disneyland attraction since 1969. Um, Space Mountain? No. Um, co uh, go back to it. Uh, skip. Keep going, skip. All right, animal? A uh, mammal. Uh, yes. Uh, is it native of the United States? Yes. Is it a pet? Yes. Clue? According to Pet MD, this animal can smell up to- uh, Dog. Yes. Okay, we're an entertainer. Actor. Uh, yes. Uh, still alive? No. Um, won awards? Yes. Um, clue. This actor forgot to thank his mother in his Goodwill Hunting oh, Oscar um, speech. Robin Williams. Yes. Okay. A Tourist attraction. Um, it's been a Disneyland attraction. Is it a roller coaster? No. Is it a, it's a ride? Uh, yes. Teacups? No. Um, is it in Spaceland? No. Is it in California Adventure? No. Um, is it in oh. Frontierland? No. Um, it's, oh, it's the castle, the castle. Ah, the castle! Yes! No! no. <laughs> oh my gosh! Ah. So it's been a Disneyland attraction since 1969. Now, you didn't have any clues left, but if you did, what if I said it features a room that appears to be stretching? A haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion. <laughs> Haunted Mansion. But you know what, Daryl? You played that so well. You got two out of the three. I think that's a fantastic job. We are not gonna send you home empty-handed. Jamie, tell Daryl what he's won. Westward Luke Wyndham Grand Resort and Spa. Situated on 80 acres of desert oasis, this upscale resort offers a sophisticated southwestern getaway in the heart of the Sonoran Desert. Enjoy a host of amenities like a full-service spa, three pools, and nature trails. WyndhamRewards.com, the world's number one hotel rewards program. Well, that sounds like a beautiful hotel stay, and the best part, Daryl, is you get to come back to play again for another chance to win $5,000 as our returning champion. And goodbye, everybody. Remember, come on back to this place. Watch this person and this person I do this thing. See you next time. Haunted Mansion, you did so good, though. You're still watching? Oh my God, thank you. Well, in that case, be sure to stay up to date with Person, Place, or Thing by smashing that subscribe button. There's full episodes, behind the scenes content, and even a few surprises, and they're just a click away. You can go now.